Welcome to the Nexus 2 Help Guide. In this video we will be introducing the automated Scott Event Detection Pipeline developed by the Scottish Right for Children. We will cover where to find the download and information about the algorithm from our website and demonstrate step by step how to apply the pipeline within Nexus. Hello, my name is Wilshaw Stevens and I'm a biomechanics research engineer. I'm excited to share the Scottish Rite for Children automated squat events algorithm developed by my former colleagues and I in the Movement Science Lab at Scottish Rite for Children. The automated squat events code allows biomechanics researchers to reliably identify key events of the squat cycle. With this algorithm, users will find that it significantly reduces commonly found variability in event placement while improving the efficiency of data processing, thus freeing up time. The orthopedic surgeons and clinicians we work alongside are interested in understanding how patients are affected in their day-to-day -day tasks, such as squatting, and this provides additional insights. In the Movement Science Lab at Scottish Rite for Children, research into non-traditional functional tasks have allowed for the creation of a framework that streamlines the development and integration of custom data processing algorithms to be used by the lab and shared with the biomechanics community. I'd like to acknowledge my co-developers along with the Scottish Rite for Children Research Program for their financial support. Thank you for the team at Vicon for agreeing to utilize their platform to share this tool more broadly. Thank you so much. You will need MATLAB to utilize this event detection for squatting. The download package includes MATLAB algorithms for both squat types, illustrative example data, and comprehensive documentation. This is compatible in the 32-bit and 64-bit version of Nexus 2. The download of the algorithm can be found on our website. Go to vicon.com slash downloads and search for automated squat events detection Scottish right. You can also find more detailed information on how the algorithm determines the events and how to run the squat trials in this PDF. This PDF was written by Wilshaw Stevens from the Scottish right for children and you can also download it from here. Once I have downloaded the algorithm I need to save it in an appropriate location so I can later locate it within Nexus. I will also need some captured data. In this case, I'm using example data for the traditional squat. There's also squat and hold data available to use with this event detection. We will go over that later. For the algorithm to work, a C7 marker needs to be present within the marker set and a sagittal plane near angles need to have been calculated. In case you're using your own biomechanical calculations, the knee angles need to be named L knee angles and R knee angles for the script to be able to identify and use the correct model outputs. With the capture data reconstructed, labeled and model outputs calculated, I can now load the algorithm with a nexus. For this, I will go to the pipelines pane from the data processing drop down menu, select the run MATLAB operation operation and double click on it. This will add the operation to my current pipeline. If you want to learn more about how to set the MATLAB path, you can watch our tutorial video on our YouTube channel. I now have to select the operation and in the properties navigate to the script's location. Everything is set up to run the pipeline. You can see we have now got six squat events on the time bar. I have the option to save this operation as a pipeline by clicking on the arrow button on the right hand side next to the pipelines. Give it a name and click save. You will now have this operation safe with its properties as you have set it as a pipeline and can select it from the drop down menu in the future. The Scottish Right for Children's have developed two different algorithms for two different types of squats. We cover the traditional squat first but are now going to look at the hold squat. As before, we load the data of a captured trial into Nexus, reconstruct, labeled it, and calculated our model outputs. Again, I will need a C7 marker in my marker set and model outputs for the knee sagittal plane kinematics. I go back to my pipeline pane, select the same operation as before. This time, when I navigate to MATLAB script, I need to make sure that I select the MATLAB script for the hold squat events. I press play 
to run the algorithm and note that previously we had six events and now have eight events in the time bar. This is because it is a different type of squat. In summary, we showed you where to download the scripts, the necessary inputs and how to create the pipelines to run the scripts. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at support at